Good afternoon. Buenas tardes. It is so good to see us and to gather us today to be able to celebrate our life and our vocation. On this day of, ce of celebration in Thanksgiving for the life and vocation of all men and women religious who have reached a milestone of faithfulness to their call, it is my pleasure to welcome you to the wonderful celebration of anniversary of religious life. Today, we recognize the gift and legacy of all men and women who have consecrated and dedicated their life in faithful service to all people in the Archdiocese of Los Angeles. Congratulations, jubilarians present and remotely connected. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for there is the kingdom of heaven. It is the promise for all who are poor in spirit, those who have learned to rely on God with full abundance. Blessed are you, dear jubilarians, because Jesus promise is for all of you. You have emptied yourself to follow Jesus. We recognize the gift of all consecrated religious men and women and continue to pray for new vocations. Thank you for your life and vocation. I am Sister Maria Carlos, Vicar for Women Religious, and it is my privilege to welcome you to the 2023 Religious Jubilarian Celebration of the Archdiocese of Los Angeles. Thank you and welcome.
Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My brothers and sisters, peace be with you. And with your so we gather this afternoon for the celebration of Holy Mass on this fourth Sunday in ordinary time, and especially for the uh, celebration honoring reli our religious jubilarians. It is, uh, as always, a moment of grace for all of us, and especially of uh, giving thanks to God for your vocation and your ministry and your life. Uh, in your communities and in the archdiocese. So let's start our celebration, opening our hearts to the grace of God, acknowledging our sins and preparing ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. I confess, Almighty God, to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have really seen in my thoughts and in my words when I have done, when I failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life.
glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, on earth peace to people of good will. We pray. us, Lord our God, that we may honor you with all our mind and love everyone in truth of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Zephaniah. Seek the Lord, all you humble or dear, who have observed his law. Seek justice, seek humility. Perhaps you may be sheltered on the day of the Lord's anger. But I will live as a remnant in your midst, a people humble and lowly. You shall take refuge in the name of the Lord, the raiment of Israel. They shall do no wrong and speak no lies, nor shall there be found in their mouths a, deceit, a deceitful tongue. They shall pasture and coach their flock with none to disturb them. The word of the Lord. Free. 
blessed are the poor in spirit, the kingdom of heaven is theirs. The Lord gives sight to the blind, the Lord raises up those who were bowed down. The Lord loves the just, the Lord protects strangers. Blessed are the poor in spirit, the kingdom of heaven is theirs. The fatherless and the widow the Lord sustains, but the way of the wicked he thwarts. The Lord shall reign forever. Your God, O Zion, through all generations. Alleluia. Blessed are the poor in spirit, the kingdom of heaven is A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Sahodare, Ningal Kulabichirikina, Deva Vulia Petitane Chindikivin. Laugiga Manadanda Manasiricha, Ningalil Buddhi Manmar Adigamilla. Shakterim Kulinerim Adigamilla. Engilim Vitnanigale Legipikan. Loga Drishtil, Bhoshan Maraivere, Devam Tiranyadutu Sakta Maive Legipikiwan, Loga Drishtil, Asakta Maiveim Nilevilulavi and Asipikiwan Vendi, Loga Drishtia, Nisarang Laiveim Avaganike Petaveim Ilaime Taneim, Devam Tiranyadutu Deva Sanadhil Arum Ahangarika Drikan Anna, Avadana Ingana Chedada Yesikus Tuilula, Ningaluda Jeevathanti Uravidam, Avadanana Devam Avane Namukur, Nyanavum, Nidium, Vishudhi Garanavum, Paritranavum Aki Rikino Adugunda Eld the Petrikina the Pole, Abhimanikinavan, Kartavil Abhimanikate The Word of the Lord Lord 
be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, o Lord. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain. And after he had sat down, his disciples came to him. He began to teach them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the land. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they insult you and persecute you and utter every kind of evil against you falsely because of me. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My brothers and sisters in Christ, as I was saying today, we are honoring our jubilarians, the religious sisters who have served the family of God for all these years. Sisters, thank you. You are a special gift for all of us every day. We rely on your praise and your ministry more than you can ever know. And we are all grateful for your generous love for Jesus and your witness to his love in your ministries of catechesis and charity, your compassion for the poor and the sick. You inspire all of us who want to follow Jesus more closely. Your lives are showing us the beautiful possibilities that open up before us when we say yes to Jesus Christ. And we say yes to living simply for the love of God and the serving of our brothers and sisters. And this is the vision of life that Jesus sets before us today in the gospel. As we listen to uh, today's gospel, first of all, I was thinking, we need to imagine that we are in the fields up there on the mountain listening to Jesus' teaching. And what do we hear him tell us? Blessed are the poor. Blessed are they who mourn. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness. Blessed are the merciful. Blessed are the clean of heart. Blessed are the peacemakers. For they will be called children of God. And obviously, we have heard this teaching many times. The Beatitudes that begin our Lord's Sermons on the Mount are among the most famous words in the history of the world. And as we know, Beatitude means blessing. Beatitude means happiness. It is the happiness that only God can give us. 
God wants us to be happy and to be blessed. God wants us to become saints, his holy sons and daughters. And the Beatitudes are the path that he calls us to walk. But uh, the first thing that we know, we notice, is that the, Beat the Beatitudes are the opposite of what everybody else tells, tells us that, we, that will make us happy. The world teaches us that happiness means maybe having money and power. The world tells us happiness means follow our own path, defining our identity, finding our own truth. But as we know, that's not God's way. The prophet in the first reading says that God wants the people humble and lowly, we shall take refuge in the name of the Lord. And St. Paul reminds us in the second reading of today's Mass that God doesn't care about human standards. He wants us to follow Jesus. So, Jesus comes to show us a different way. He, can, he comes to tell us that God, as we know, has a plan for our lives. And it is a plan of love. Before the foundation of the world, God knew our names and he wanted us to be born. So we have a destiny, as we know, each one of us. And that's what Jesus says today in, today in the gospel for they will be called children of God. God's sons and daughters, that's who we are. That's our destiny. So when Jesus tells us that the Beatitudes are the way to happiness, he knows what he's talking about. He has lived it. Jesus lived the Beatitudes in the ordinary circumstances of his everyday life. And yes, we can do it too. Of course, with the help of the grace of God. So we need to uh, 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 stay close to Jesus in his words and in his sacraments. And especially in the Eucharist. Where he comes to us again to be our breath. To satisfy the hunger and thirst that we have for the living God. But as we know, it's not easy to follow Jesus. It's always a sign of contradiction. We remember those words when Mary, our Blessed Mother, and St. Joseph presented Jesus in the temple. The holy man, St. Simeon, told Mary exactly that. So what Jesus asks us is always to go to always going to go against what the world demands. And as we know, the world can be very aggressive in trying to pressure us to live in a different way, not to do what Jesus is asking us to do. That's what the end of the Beatitudes, as we just heard in the passage of the Gospel, we heard Jesus saying, blessed are they when they insult you and persecute you because of me. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. So my dear brothers and sisters, that's a promise from Jesus. For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. And all we have to do is to take his hand, to walk with him, stay faithful to his teaching. So my dear brothers and sisters, let us ask for that grace today, to, be, to keep walking with Jesus in humility and with fidelity. The kingdom of God will be ours 
if we persevere in following his way. And let, let us especially rejoice today for the beautiful witness of our jubilarians. Thank you, dear sister jubilarians. May Holy Mary, Our Lady of the Angels, help us to always follow the way of her Son, the way of the Beatitudes that will lead us to happiness and to heaven. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Please stand for the Litany of the Saints. Lord, have mercy. Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy, Holy Mary, Mother of God, Saint Michael, Holy Angels of God, Saint John the Baptist, Saint Joseph, Saint Peter and Saint Paul, Saint Andrew, Saint John, of Antioch, St. John the Lawrence, St. Perpetual, St. Felicity, St. Agnes, St. Gregory, St. Augustine. Saint Basil, Saint Martin, Saint Benedict, Saint Francis and Saint Dominic, Saint Francis Xavier, Saint John Vianney. Saint Catherine of Siena. It is with great joy and gratitude 
for God's fidelity and the lives of all Jubilarians that I ask you to now to stand and, en and renew your vows. Eternal, Please stand. All together on this day, jubilee, we church, church the Archdiocese of Los Angeles, members of your religious community, families, families and communities. Thank you for your many years with May the of your life be the Congratulations to all the jubilarians. <clears throat> now we can uh, pray together a profession of faith. I believe one God, Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light, true God from true God, begotten and made, unsubstantial with the Father. To him all things were made. For us men and for us salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate to the Virgin Mary and began. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and he seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory, judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church, who pays one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, forward to the resurrection of the dead, life for the world to come. My brothers and sisters, God has, called, God has called us to be his faithful followers. With confidence, we pray for our needs and those of our brothers and sisters in Christ. For the Church, que Cristo haga de su iglesia un humilde remanente, que se refugia en nombre del Señor. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, that God's justice may move all nations and peoples <laughs> to observe his law and do no wrong. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, For educators, que los maestros sean testigos creíbles, enseñando la fraternidad y ayudando a los más jóvenes y vulnerables. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, that our religious brothers and sisters celebrating their jubilee today may continue to receive wisdom and strength to share with our community of faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, por los que han fallecido en la paz de la fe, que sean juzgados misericordiosamente y acogidos en el reino del Señor, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Father, hear our prayers and draw us closer to you. 
May we grow in faith and serve you more generously each day. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our living and the of his holy church. O Lord, we bring to your altar these offerings of our service. Be pleased to receive them, we pray, and transform them into the sacrament of our redemption. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. 
Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is true, right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere. To give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by his birth, he brought renewal to humanity, humanity's fallen state. And by his suffering, cancelled out our sins. By his rising from the dead, he has opened the way to eternal life. By ascending to you, O Father, he has unlocked the gates of heaven. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end, we acclaim. in the holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give light to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather people to yourself, so from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, whose command we celebrate this mystery. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be put out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his from the resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose age you will to reconcile us to yourself, and that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, our spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. 
May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope and Jose our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Llenos de alegría por ser hijos de Dios, sigamos confiadamente la oración que Cristo nos enseñó. Padre nuestro que estás en el cielo, santificado sea tu nombre. Venga a nosotros tu rey. Hágase tu voluntad en la tierra como en el cielo. Danos hoy nuestro pan de cada día. Perdona nuestras ofensas, como también nosotros perdonamos a los que nos ofenden. No nos dejes caer en la tentación. Líbranos del mal. Líbranos de todos los males, Señor, y concédenos la paz en nuestros días, para que ayudados por tu misericordia, vivamos siempre libres de pecado y protegidos de toda perturbación, mientras miramos la gloriosa venida de nuestro Salvador Jesucristo. Señor Jesucristo, que dijiste a tus apóstoles, la paz les dejo, mi paz les doy. No tengas en cuenta nuestros pecados, sino la fe de tu Iglesia. Y conforme a tu palabra, concede la paz y la unidad. Tú que vives y reinas por los siglos de los siglos. Amen. La paz del Señor esté siempre con todos ustedes. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Este es el Cordero de Dios que quita el pecado del mundo. Dichosos los invitados a la cena del Señor. No soy digno de que entres en mi casa. 
pero una palabra tuya bastará para sanar. El cuerpo de Cristo me guarde para la vida eterna. Seek the Lord, 
seek the Lord while he may be found. Call on him while he is Let us pray. Nourished by these redeeming gifts, we pray, O Lord, that through this help to eternal salvation, true faith may ever increase. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. It has been a great celebration. Thank you. We are grateful for to Archbishop Jose Gomez, Auxiliary Bishops, Monsignor Antonio, sorry that I don't have your last name correct. I can't pronounce it. Um, all priests and deacons who have come with us and celebrate uh, with us today. Thank you for your support and presence. Thank you to all who have shared their time, talent, and treasure to make this Eucharist celebration a fitting tribute to all to our jubilarians, their congregations, in a very special way. Thank you to the cathedral staff, volunteers, and the choir under the direction of jo uh, Joseph Azuro. May God reward you for, for all you do. To all of you, family members, friends, and brothers in Christ, for taking the time to be here or via media platforms, honoring all religious men and women who have dedicated their life to serve in the Archdiocese of Los Angeles. Thank you very much. Jubilarians, if you are able, please stand when you hear the number of years of profession you are celebrating. I will begin with the youngest, 25 years Forty years. Forty years. Fifty years. Sixty years. Beautiful. Six. 
65 years. <laughs> 70 years. <laughs> 75 years. <laughs> 80 years. 85 years. 85 You might not be able to see them because they are at home, standing and really celebrating at home. So we celebrate with them at home. The Church of Los Angeles recognized the joy and gratitude the gratitude, the legacy of all religious institutes celebrating significant anniversaries of foundation and or service to the people of Los Angeles. And we begin with the youngest, the, Codine, the Congregation of Codine Sisters of Jesus. Thank you, 25 years. Misioneras de Jesús Crucificado, 30 años de servicio. Gracias. Father, Mission, Father Colbe, Missionary Immaculate, 40 years of service. Thank you. Congregation of the Sisters of St. Felix, the Felician Sisters, 75 years. Thank you. Religious of the Sacred Heart of Mary, a hundred years since its foundation. Thank you very much. By answering God's call, you make the community of communities a reality. Thank you for all your service. Following the Mass, we invite all the jubilarians to please stay in your place. And now, Archbishop will lead us in prayer for vocations. You will find the prayer of vocations in your worship aid. Thank you very much. Sister, before we do that, some of our priests are also celebrating their jubil uh, our jubilarians too. So, priests uh, celebrating your, your anniversary, please stand. Please stand. Thank you. We need to communicate better with all of you. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you, Archbishop, You're and thank, thank you, you, all of you. Muchas gracias. Uh, please stand for the prayer vocations, correct? Yes. So if we can pray together. Good and gracious God, you have called us to baptize to the discipleship in your Son, Jesus Christ and us to bring the good news of salvation to all people. Grant that many more men and women will be open to serve as priests, deacons, religious, and consecrated laity in the church here in the Archdiocese of Los Angeles, and then to freely respond to your invitation. And may their families and parishes support and encourage them to be responsive. Help each disciple to trust in your call. Make us able and willing to do what you ask and keep us united in your mercy. Let those who you have chosen to serve you provide by the way of life and a convincing sign of the kingdom of the church and the whole world. We ask this to Jesus Christ, the good shepherd, your son, Lord. So again, again, congratulations to all the jubilarians. Uh, it is a, always a great blessing to be with you and celebrate uh, your anniversary. So let us uh, uh, keep uh, reflecting on the beautiful teaching of our Lord Jesus Christ in the Beatitudes. That's what uh, our life is all about. So 
and let's keep working with him and uh, asking him for his uh, uh, grace to be able to be faithful to our vocation. And especially now at this time, to go out and preach the gospel that Jesus wants us to do. Uh, so let's keep praying for one another and also for uh, the universal church and the church in the Archdiocese of Los Angeles. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your head for the blessing. May the God of all consolation order in your days in his peace and grant you the gifts of his blessing. Amen. May he free you always from every distress and confirm your hearts in his love. Amen. So that on this life journey, you may be effective in good works, rich in the gifts of hope, faith, and charity, and may come happily to eternal life. Amen. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Uh, we invite all of you to join us singing the Salve Regina, praying for vocations to the priesthood that they consecrated life. The Salve Regina is number 1000 in your hymn book. Salve Regina, Mater Misericordiae, Vita Dulce, Vespres Nostra Salve, Mater Gamba. Closing hymn is number 979, Hail Holy Queen Enthroned Above, number 979.
Oh, Jesus. 